Hello! Today, we will be learning the eye movements in reading. Reading requires constant use of the eyes. In most languages, such as English and Filipino, when you read, the eyes move from left to right and from top to bottom of the page. However, the eyes perceive printed words only during a series of pauses or fixations. Here are the following terms which explains the eye movements in reading. Fixation, interfixation, span of recognition or eye span, return sweep, regression, anticipation span or eye voice span. First, fixation. It refers to the pause or stop of the eyes at a point or a word. For example, the sanguine is a very social person who likes to be with people. Of all the temperaments, the sanguine is the easiest to be around socially. Their cheerfulness and humor brighten everyone's life. As you can observe, the circles indicates that your eyes rest on these words. A major component of speed reading is eye fixation, a point where your eyes come to rest as you need. Readers who make fewer eye fixations read faster because they take in more words with each fixation. Second, Interfixation is the quick movement of the eyes from one fixation to the next fixation. For example, the sanguine is a very social person. As you can observe, when you say interfixation, this is the eye movement from one fixation or one eye's rest to the next fixation or eye, another rest of your eye. Person who likes to be with people of all the temperaments, the sanguine is the easiest to be around socially. Their cheerfulness and humor brighten everyone's life. So that is what we call interfixation. Third, span of recognition or eye span is the number of letters or words recognized every time the eye stop. For example, the old captain put the chart on the. When we say eye span, it is when our eyes recognize the group of words. Because usually, when we read, we do not read word for word. Instead, we read by group of words or by phrase or clause. Another example, the sanguine is a very social person who likes to be with people. Of all the temperaments, the sanguine is the easiest to be around socially. Their cheerfulness and humor brighten everyone's life. Span of recognition or eye span means the eye's recogni recognition of the group of words. Fourth, return sweep is the long slanting lines or quick eye movement from the end of one line to the beginning of the next line. For example, the sanguine is a very social person. Return sweep means your eyes move from the end of the first line down to the beginning of the next line. The sanguine is a very social person who likes to be with people of all the temperaments, the sanguine is the easiest to be around socially. Their cheerfulness and humor brighten everyone's life. So that is what we call return sweep. 
So when you end the first line and then your eyes move to the beginning of the next line. Okay, fifth, regression refers to the backward or right to left eye movements or eye movements made in a reverse direction. Readers usually regress to double check a point or by force of habit. For example, so you can observe this is fixation and then enter fixation. Usually, when you say regression or box keeping, the judge was inexorable and gave the. So, usually, instead of continuing reading, what happened is when we uh, uh, encountered an unfamiliar word, we tend to box skip or we tend to regress. The judge was inexorable and gave the. So instead of continue reading, usually readers tend to box skip or go back with the unfamiliar word in order to understand that word. So that is what we call regression or box skip. Box keeping, rather. Anticipation span or eye voice span is the forward sweep of the eyes ahead of the point of interpretation. In oral reading, this means the distance measured between the point reached by the eyes in a line and the point at which the voice is enunciating the words. For example, as you can observe, the red line indicates that your eyes recog eye span recognize more words than your voice span or the words you have already enunciated. So that means that your eye span moves faster than how you enunciate or speak the words. The judge was inexorable and gave the convicted man the maximum punishment allowed by law. So again, in oral reading, this means the distance measured between the point reached by the eyes in a line and the point at which the voice is initiating the words. So usually, eye span moves faster than voice span. Here is the difference of the eye movement between a normal reader and a poor reader. As you can observe, for a normal reader, fixation is in straight pattern, straight pattern, while as you can observe a poor reader's eye movement, so fixations and interfixations are being interrupted with box keeping or regression. Usually, poor readers tend to box keep or regress most of the time because probably do, they do not understand the words or there's a lot of words that they are not familiar of. That is why they tend to go back with the previous word. Thank you for listening!